A suspicious list of names prompts an investigation at a local school and concern from parents. Shelby County school officials say that the list, called Death Note, belonged to an East Middle School student and contained names of other students and staff. WLKY's Corey Pippen spoke to school officials and parents today. He joins us live with more. Corey? Rick, school officials say they believe there is no danger to anyone on the list or at the school. They believe the death note is derived from a Japanese animated show of the same name, which is popular online. So officials and parents are taking it lightly. And for anybody to sit down and put a name on a piece of paper, whether it be a death note or wish they were dead or whatever was wrote on the note, uh, it just it blew my mind away. Neil Razor's son goes to school at East Middle in Shelby County. Razor says he was contacted Thursday after a note was found with his son's name on it, along with other students' names. School officials say a staff member's name was also on the list. Superintendent James Nyhoff says they took immediate action and called the sheriff's office to investigate. Uh, it's a normal disciplinary action proceeding at the school, and the principal and assistant principal responded as they normally would. With that sort of a thing, and, and conducted an investigation. We found out it's the style of uh, what is from a uh, Japanese graphic novel and uh, kind of turned into a, a YouTube sort of phenomenon called a death note. According to Internet Movie Database, Death Note revolves around a high school student that eliminates criminals through a notebook capable of killing anyone whose name is written into it. Uh, we did ask him, is there anybody in school that? would want to hurt you or is anybody threatening you and uh, he had a, some concerns with a, with a few names and uh, it really concerned us. Nyhoff says while they can't discuss what if any discipline the student will face they are actively watching the situation. We've, we've ensured that, that, that our schools are safe. That's a constant daily commitment to us uh, from, from the time we uh, pillow our head at, at night we, uh, we, we wake the next morning. Superintendent Nyhoff says they have considered moving students whose names were on the note out of classes they share with the writer. He says a safe health assessment has also been performed by mental health professionals. I'm Corey Pippen, 